watching. Um, so today I'm going to create a wonderful oven dish and it will be chicken with vegetables in a cream sauce and um, it's packed full of flavour, goes really really well um, with broccoli and some nice new potatoes but you can add whatever you want to it, it also goes really nicely with rice um, and it's just a really really lovely dish. Um, you don't have to put substitute chicken in if you don't want. Um, you can just pack it full of veg and have a beautiful vegetable, uh, vegetables and cream sauce. Um, so let's get on with the ingredients that we will need uh, for this dish. So to start off, what I like about this dish is that if you have, I don't know, certain leftover vegetables that you need to use up, you can put put anything you want into this dish in terms of vegetables. So, what I'm gonna put in today are the following. So, I have got one leek here, I've got one celery, I have half of courgette, and I have two uh, cupfuls of spinach. To this, we will also add, um, I have two cupfuls of button um, chestnut mushrooms. I have a, a, a big cupful of fresh parsley and a small onion. And then for the herbs and spices, um, we have the following. So we have a teaspoon of tarragon, we have half a teaspoon of caraway seeds, we have a teaspoon of mixed herbs, we have two teaspoons of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of normal paprika, we have half a teaspoon of celery salt, half a teaspoon of dill, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and one teaspoon of turmeric. We are also gonna add a, a vegetable stock cube, half a lemon, and I have cut up some uh, vegan garlic sausage. Um, to this we are also going to add um, a tablespoon of garlic and I have uh, just infused the oil, um, it's olive oil in here, there is uh, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil um, and I have put in um, fat, four big uh, garlics that I've just crushed up and I've just allowed the oil to infuse in that. And for our chicken substitute we are going to use the Vivera plant um, chicken tenders. There's a 210 gram portion. If you don't have these, you don't need to put it in. It's packed full of veg and it's amazing anyway. So um, let's begin with um, getting all the ingredients into um, a, a pot for the oven, a casserole dish for the oven. And we're gonna cook this on low and slow. Uh, on 140 to 150 for about three and a half hours. Um, I'm gonna use this cast iron pot here. Um, and so yeah, let's add all the ingredients and put the oven on and get cooking. Okay, I've put everything into the pot. Um, I have now um, filled the um, uh, what contains the garlic and oil, I've filled this with water, we're going to put some water in there um, just so it has a little bit of water to cook with and um, the additional ingredients we are going to have in here is we're going to have a big heaped tablespoon of uh, tomato paste we are then going to use some black pepper, you will want about a teaspoon of black pepper and like so and then we're going to use a teaspoon of Himalayan salt as well just to bring out those flavours teaspoon of Himalayan salt there and we are now going to add a tiny bit of um, light soy sauce um, about two teaspoons of light soy sauce goes in and um, we are also going to use the vegan um, Worcester sauce. We're going to add the same quantity um, in there as well as what we did with the soy sauce. We're going to add two teaspoons 
of that like so and then to finish off we're going to add a little tiny bit of sugar um, because we've got lemon in there and we've got tomato in there and we've got um, soy sauce and things like that we've got um, a little bit of a sour profile and a salty profile and to offset that we're going to add a tiny bit of sugar um, and we're going to add the equivalent of a teaspoon of sugar okay and um, what we'll do now is we'll give this a really good stir in and we're going to put this on in the oven and we're going to keep checking on this so right now we've it looks like we've got a lot of ingredients but we've got two cupfuls here of um, spinach and that spinach will reduce significantly and also the mushrooms will reduce significantly and all the flavors of the spinach and the mushrooms will all infuse into the chicken um, and, and cook down so what we do now is we're going to uh, put, put this in and we're going to let it cook slow for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back okay so the um, dish the, uh, has had about 25 minutes I would say in the oven and we'll just take it off now and I'll show you how it's reducing so as you can see um, all the herbs and vegetables are reducing nicely it's got a nice um, infused flavor in this it's looking amazing already it looks so good <gasps> Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely beautiful. So we have given it a good stir and we're going to pop this back in the oven for a good hour now um, to all infuse and to all cook together. Oh, it smells so, so nice. Look at it already. <gasps> beautiful. Okay, it's had about an hour and a half cooking and as you can see, um, the water that we added has significantly reduced. Um, it's got thicker. All the chicken is cooking nicely, um, infusing on in all those beautiful herbs and spices. Um, so we will give it another 20 minutes and then we will be in a position then to add our vegan cream. Or if you if you want to use normal cream, you can. Okay, it's at about um, two hours now, and this is the kind of consistency you want. You want the consistency bit consistency. So nearly all the water has reduced um, in the dish, and you're left with all the beautiful vegetables and chicken. Um, you can use normal chicken for this if you want. Um, I'm using vegan as I say because I prefer to cook plant based but it's entirely up to you. Now from this we are going to add this Alpro Single Soya Plant Based Cream. Only 10% fat. Amazing cream. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Now we're going to add the whole of this to this dish like so um, and the gram of this is 254 we're also going to add um, half a cupful of cheese I'm using applewood um, cheese uh, which is a vegan cheese um, but you would add um, a normal cheese if you wanted to add um, if you didn't want to make it plant based um, we're going to give this a really good stir around um, and as you can see look at the transformation <gasps> oh my goodness look at how beautifully rich this is all those flavours are infusing the cheese will melt all in it's absolutely out of this world is this dish it is so beautiful and packed full of flavour. So this is going to go in now to the oven for another 30 minutes and then we will be ready to serve. But just look at this. Oh, how amazing is that? It's just totally 
beautiful. It smells out of this world. Okay, it has had about three hours now. And look at that. How beautiful is that? So thick, so rich, so creamy. Okay, I think it's time to serve. So, put a little bit of this beautiful chicken with all the wonderful vegetables and sauce. Oh, and why not serve it with some beautiful cauliflower and some long stem broccoli. There you go. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks. And it's so tasty. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is my creamy chicken and vegetable casserole served with cauliflower and broccoli. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and stay safe everyone. Bye.